<laughs> I don't know like how many episodes we've started with you just coughing. Yeah. It's amazing to think that I'm like the one that's like that used to be a smoker. And you're the one that's always coughing his fucking lights out. Well, I got asthma. Huh? I got asthma. No. I think I do too. I yeah. just don't. Just don't care? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just ignore it. It's like, yeah, sometimes I'll just pass out blue and then I'll wake up, I'm fine. <laughs> it makes me think of my stepdad. He's diabetic, but he just ignores it. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. <laughs> All the time, he's like, I feel lightheaded. I'm just gonna go lay down. <laughs> like, no, uh, yeah, I haven't felt my foot since like two years ago. Oh, well, the toe's purple. <laughs> uh, well, what's up, everybody? It's the knife funk. Yo, we're back at it yeah. with another episode. Today, we're talking fandoms, yeah, and we're gonna just give it to you. There's a lot of fandoms out there that, um, Need a stern talking to. Yeah, they just shut the fuck up most of the time. Like, don't get me wrong. We're all fans of something. Yeah. But some of y'all take it too far. Yeah. And that's what we're going to be talking about. Yeah, I got one that's going to bother you. Really? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I got a few that probably you might not like, but, you know, I think everybody has their own like, yeah. opinion. But um, before we start the episode, for any of y'all new listeners out there, Make sure to follow us on Instagram at the Night Home Podcast. Yeah. Also on TikTok, same handle. And um, yeah, and YouTube. Our YouTube will be updated soon. I'm trying to catch up on the uploads because I have a pretty shitty computer that I'm trying to like help me upload yeah. this shit. How long does it take you to upload? <sighs> Way too long. <Yeah. laughs> but like, I'm trying my hardest. Oh, it's done. Oh, the song's over. Yeah. Oops. It really dragged out that intro. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I didn't like how abrupt it was. It was like, enough. I know. Seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> it was supposed to be a full song. <laughs> That's weird. I thought I had the whole song on here. Yeah. Oh, well. Or well maybe fuck it is it. the whole song. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, go check out the socials if you guys got a chance. Yeah, just hit the link tree. Uh, Discord's still up. I thought it was Discord's still up, yeah. Yeah. I haven't even checked it. <laughs> it probably needs to be updated a little bit, but... yeah. I mean, we'll get to it when we get to it. Also, I don't know how to use Discord, so it's going to be fun. We'll learn together. I've used it a couple of times, only just for, like, group chats and stuff. Oh, yeah, for, that's like, about it, but, like, setting we, up the rooms and all that shit. Yeah, because we used yeah. to use it sometimes to, like, um, like for, like, different online games and stuff, yeah. like computer ones that weren't on console and shit. And then also, it comes clutch if you're ever trying to play something online on the Switch, because the Switch's, like, group chat shit is dog shit i didn't even know you can group chat on or chat on it you have to do it through your phone on an app what yes instead of them adding like group chat onto the switch you have to download the nintendo app <clears throat> and a game with compatible multiplayer has to allow you and you can only do it with people who you have their friend codes yeah, i mean like they're doing they do it for like security reasons for kids and stuff. Yeah. But also like all you had to do is implement the same features onto your system. Yeah. You didn't have to like password lock it. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, also for me, like Nintendo or T Nendo, mm -hmm. um it's not it's not an online system for me. Uh like, really I understand there's like games like Smash and all that stuff, but usually if you're gonna play Smash you're going to play with, like, other people in public. Yeah. Like, or at a friend's house or something. Well, they do have online leagues, too. Yeah. But, but it also depends on, like, the game itself. I think the game that I remember playing online the most on the Switch that was actually really great was Monster Hunter. Oh, yeah. But Monster Hunter was exclusive to the Switch. No. Oh. Monster, uh, Monster Hunter Rise was. Oh, that one is. Monster yeah. Hunter World wasn't. And Monster Hunter Rise was a lot better. Because hmm. they added a way more... Like cooler stuff and features and shit like that. You can but, get a dog, huh? You can get a dog and a cat. Yeah, you can get both. Yeah, I made my dog look like Astro. Really? Like, yeah, I made him like brown and uh, white and. I try. I try to make mine look like a uh, like like Sunny. Yeah. And I was like, I mean, like I love my dog, but it's like for a game, she just has boring color. She's just tan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with like a lighter tan underbelly. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, basic ass dog. <laughs> Yeah, but anyways, moving on to the uh, subject at hand. Yes. So, who do you think is the most annoying fandom? You know what? 
I'm just going to start it off with the one that you don't think you're going to like too much. Well, mm-hmm. maybe you'll agree. Ever since that, uh, what is it, Breath of the Wild came out. Yeah. Zelda fans have been fucking annoying. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Like, I, like, like, it was kind of getting there with, like, like, Wind Waker and then the Twilight Princess when it went a little dark and emo. Yeah. And it was like, okay, it's bearable. But then when uh, when the the last two came out, it's just the amount of people who are like fan posting, drawing. It's like every single like like artist mm-hmm. that you see like on Instagram does Zelda like shit. Yeah, and it's just like cool. I get it. It's cool looking. It's a great game. I like it too. But you make it your life, and it's just like, calm the fuck down, guys. Yeah, I yeah. mean, the thing, to be honest, I don't disagree with you, but yeah. I think that Zelda has had a toxic fan base since Ocarina of Time. Oh, yeah, totally. And Majora Mask really made it worse. Yeah. Because people have always been hell-bent on, like, which one's the better game? I was like, they're both. both great. They're both great, yeah. but they're also not the best. Mm-hmm. There's not, th- Honestly... I would. I know this might be like controversial for like some Zelda fans, but I think some of the like more old school format ones are better. Fucking Link to the Past. Link to the Past, it's but my favorite Zelda game. A Link Between Worlds is my favorite. That was fun. That one was really good because like it was so creative, but it also like oh, leaned that's on the one when you like go to the other world. Yeah, you yeah. could go on the walls and shit, and yeah. then you didn't actually fight Ganon. You fought like a different villain, and it had a mm-hmm. much cooler storyline. And I like when they. When they deviate from the formula. Yeah, you know what else was a good one? What? Minish Cap. Minish Cap was awesome. Yeah, that game was fucking cool. It's just like, yeah, you play it's it's the it's the overworld of of Link to the Past, Mm -hmm. and there's a few changes, but then there's a completely other world when you turn into the little mini Link. Yeah, and it's it's fucking fun. Mm -hmm. It was cool. It was just so creative, and that's what I enjoy out of the Zelda series. Now, Breath of the Wild was really fun, and um, Tears, of the King- to do. Tears of the Kingdom has been amazing. Yeah. I still haven't finished the game because I've been trying to, like, complete all the side stuff. I still haven't finished the first one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, uh, the second one really does take a massive shit on the first one, like, on how much more variety there is. Oh, really? And also, they expanded, like, so much more because you have, like – the same level of shrines as like the previous game, but now you have the the sky areas, and mm-hmm. then now you have the depth areas. Oh, cool! And I de- mean, that's good though. I mean, at least they like those develop. It's not like other developers are like, "Oh, we're making a sequel to the game. Yeah. We're just going to recycle and reuse." Yeah, it's like cool. And then the, and it's like it's like okay, it's fun, but it's just boring because it's the same exact fucking thing yeah. with a few changes. And they took Zelda, and they were like, "All right." We saw what worked and we saw what didn't, so we're gonna make it better. Oh my God. I'm gonna. I need to shut that dog up. <laughs> He's gonna hit the dog. No, I'm not. Yeah. He's choking it. Now it's time for Jose's alone time. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, Zelda fans need to chill the fuck out. It's just getting annoying. Walking by, so she went into full defense mode. Oh, okay. She does that a lot. She just sees like somebody walking around. Like, there'll be some like neighbor just yeah. walking their dog, and she, uh, she'll immediately just be like, "Intruder! What the fuck?" Yeah, well, that's what a uh, Sunny does. She just gets all riled up. So yeah, I'm you gonna know. go ahead and say the fandom that annoys me the most. You might agree, you might not agree. Okay. But oh, I th- hold on. What? The one thing I do like from the Zelda fandom, though, what is uh, all them dark ladies dressing up like uh, Gerudos. Oh, that one girl that God, does that dude, really slow dance. So hot. <sighs> yeah. It makes you ponder. Yeah. Makes you just wonder if I had just had one more chance <laughs> to, what? to track this bitch down. <laughs> <laughs> Side quest. <laughs> Uh, no, but yeah, the ones that that like that one black chick that dresses up like the like that one Gerudo lady. Um, I'm not sure. You've seen her, but yeah. No, the one I love is whenever they do the um, the when they do cosplays of the girl from like the Gerudo desert, the Gerudo princess. 
Yeah, that's what I was talking about. The is one it, black chick that does that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she is, like, by far the hottest character that they've ever, like, created. Yeah. Like, I get it. People, like, you know, get all flustered over, like, sexy versions of Zelda. But that one's on a different level, dog. Yeah. Dark skin, muscular. Abs. A piece. Uh, yes. A piece. <laughs> well, her character's short. But no, but I'm talking about the other bitch. The oh, the, bitch. The, the bodyguard one? Yeah, saying, no, I'm talking about the princess. I'm the body, yeah, I well, get I mean, down with that thick. The bodyguard one. Oh, yeah, she's way too thick. She's she's like, she's like, uh, no, I don't mean like, I don't mean too thick. I mean, she's just like, that is, that that's a fu- that's a lot of woman. <laughs> I know. It's like, you know, I there's a part of me that would like love the idea of getting with like a Ray Ripley kind of girl, no, you know? Yeah. But at the same time, also, I'm very intimidated because I'm just like, oh, God. Yeah, that'd like, be weird. Like, it'd be this like, is going to hurt. <laughs> I would just be completely self-conscious. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, don't look at my fat. <laughs> I'm going to wear my shirt. Yeah, but you never know, dude. That might be a thing that, like, some of those muscly girls want. Like, they want, like, a fat. Apparently, that's a thing. It is a thing. They want a fat guy that they yeah. can just beat around and shit. Well, it's not that they beat around. It's like they feel, apparently, like, it's a thing. Like, girls, some women do like thicker men Mm -hmm. and it's like okay i'm here for it i've always known that honestly like when i when i was talking to my wife about like i want to get fit and i told her like i want to at least like have a really nice lean body like for once in my life you know just have like a decent amount of like uh, of like of like a muscular figure you know i'm not trying to get like bodybuilder big because i just think that's unsustainable and it's unnecessary because bo- too much work. Well, bodybuilders don't have real strength. No. They have like just inflated muscle. Yeah, I don't want that. I want like functional strength. Yeah, like farmer strength. You know, like f- shit that actually matters. Yeah, I'm going strongman bear mode. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she was just like, I kind. Uh, she was like, like don't take this the wrong way, but I like it. I don't like the idea of you ever being super muscular. I'm like, I'm not gonna get like Terry Crews big, but like. What what do you mean? She's just like I like men with a little bit of weight on them. I'm like I like I'm when not. When you're asleep, she's just pumping lard into you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm just like okay. I mean, I can kind of understand what she means. I, yeah. I think girls really love like the bear. Yeah. Like they feel warmth. safe. They feel safe yeah. with the with the bear. But like, you don't feel safe with the skeleton boy. Oh, definitely not. Yeah. But yeah. But no, yeah. That muscular lady can get it. Natasha right. Hoggy. Uh, what's the what's the name of uh notice me (laughs) what's the name of that fucking um i don't know the name of the actor she's the one that played like the xena warrior girl oh fuck yeah dude oh god it awoke something inside me when i was a child when i first saw that i was just like uh yeah (laughs) save me (laughs) (laughs) i'm just a lowly stable boy (laughs) save me from the hydra (laughs) i fell in the well Now I'm all wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll go ahead and uh, say Who else? my um, my piece on this. But um, Star Wars fans, yeah, they can get annoying. They're, no, they are annoying. They are the most annoying. They you know why? Get annoying. They're they not are all annoying. They are the most picky and the most fucking crybaby ass of all the fans. Because every time a new movie comes out, it's always. It's not as good as the originals. Of course not. And then it's also, yeah. they didn't try anything new, but when they do try something new, they're like, how dare they deviate from the Star Wars formula? Like, yeah. shut up. That's basically what happened with the, like, what was it, 789? Is it 789? Yeah. What? Uh, the new ones? The most recent ones. It yeah. Was, it, was, it was, I could see the flaws in it. Like, I understand, like, yeah, it was for a newer age, so they had to do some changes. Mm-hmm. But... They could have done better, and also switching up the directors. Like first, it was what JJ on the first one, JJ Abrams, and then the second one was some someone else. Yeah, and that one was fucking terrible. The second, the the second newest one. This might be controversial. The second one, I didn't think it was as bad as some people said it was. It it just to what I like that it was different. Well, I like that it was different. It, I it know was it's good not... that it was different, but to me, it didn't make sense. Like it was like they they forced the. I feel like they forced the relationship of Rose and Finn, so that's why everyone like people who are like that ruined this poor lady's fucking life. F- 
fuck y'all. Like, leave that poor girl alone. She didn't do anything wrong. She was yeah. just acting. Yeah, I don't know. Like, that's, a, that's but, that, that part yeah. I did not understand either. But also, it, it like, I liked what they did with Luke's character. Yeah, it was, I, was good. I like that they were like, hey, the Jedis weren't fucking perfect. Yeah. They struggled with a lot of, like, shit, too. Yeah. And it kind of, like... You know, it it brings back to the whole balance thing. Yeah, the I balance like, of the force. Yeah, at the beginning when she gives him the lightsaber back and he just throws it away. Yeah, <laughs> he's just like, oh. <laughs> and then like he, the whole like he's drinking that milk. Yeah, oh, yeah, blue milk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me that titty blue milk. <laughs> There's parts of it that I did enjoy, mm-hmm. but I I understand like why people didn't like a lot of parts of it. But the thing is, like, I feel like if you're a Star Wars fan, you should just be like. Yes, this wasn't the best, but, yeah. you know, it's still Star Wars. Yeah, of course, like, to me. But some people like, are so hell-bent on, like, the, like, they got it right the first time. And then I don't like how there was so much racial shit pushed by people being like, oh, they're just forcing um, to to make put diversity in this uh, in this movie. They're yeah, not forcing shit. Yeah, those people are fucking stupid. They're so stupid. Because yeah. they were just like... They're like, it doesn't make sense that uh, Finn is black and a and a, was a stormtrooper because of. Uh, I'm like, one, they're not clones anymore. Yeah, and two, they haven't been clones since the end of the Clone Wars. Yeah, and also, I was like, are you saying that black people don't exist in the Star Wars universe? Did you forget about fucking Lando? Like yeah. the most Billy I- D. Williams, the most iconic fuck, one of the most iconic characters from the Star Wars franchise. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> so that means there was only uh, four black people in the Star Wars universe. <laughs> it was it was Lando. Uh, Mace Windu, who died. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, what's the other guy? The one guy from uh, Mandalorian mm-hmm. and Finn. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, but it's to me like, of course, I'm, I'm I'm a big Star Wars fan. The original, the original trilogy, fucking love it. Of course, um, I think where they went, I like the the uh, the Clone War trilogy, the uh, one, two, and three. I like that one. But I can see where they kind of like, all right, you, we need to stop. It was what they messed up there, I feel. Was... I like two and up. <laughs> one is bad. No, I enjoyed one because it, it added a more, it was more whimsy to it. Like Jar Jar Binks' character, for one, again, feel bad for that actor. And then they finally like gave him some fucking justice in the, mm-hmm. uh, in the what was it, the Mandalorian. <laughs> I remember I uh, saw this one clip from the, uh, po- the, the Come Town podcast, yeah. right? And they were like, so I just found out recently that George Lucas's wife is black. You don't think like during the making of the first episode that she was like looking at Jar Jar Binks's character and be like, George, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, She's saying it in a Jamaican accent. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, uh, what is it? I think the thing that they got wrong in the first and the, in one, two and three was they tried, they over explained things like, in the original trilogy, the Force, it's just this cosmic power that goes through everyone and binds us, brings us together, blah, 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 and all this other stuff. But then in Phantom Menace, oh, it's little things in your blood called midichlorians that give you the Force. Yeah, I, like, never, I remember that they never what? brought that up again. No, they didn't because it was stupid. Hmm. It was just like, so the Force isn't mystical. It's just a life form that lives in your blood. Cool. Hey, hey that new Ahsoka series is pretty dope. I hear people are simping over uh, the the girl with the green tentacles. Oh yeah, it's, oh yeah, she's got she's got some cake on. Yeah, her. I've seen the pictures. I was like, God damn, I need to watch. I need to get Disney Plus again. It's uh, it's not bad. I can let you borrow my account. Um, but uh, it's um, it, it's a pretty fun show. Nice. Um, but I still, and again, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But I mm. think the o- the best Star Wars stuff has been all the like Mandalorian stuff. Mandalorian's been good because I love. A space western more mm-hmm. than a motherfucker. I am a space western whore. I yeah. love that shit. I enjoyed uh, Boba Fett. Yeah, Boba Fett was good too. Yeah. Um, Danny Trejo and his space pit bulls. Yeah, <laughs> I love how he was the guy that was training him. I love that that whole season was done by Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, and then the whole thing is like they just don't understand them, just <laughs> yeah. like pit bulls. <laughs> yeah, because he runs a pit bull rescue, which is yeah. fucking uh, awesome. Good on you, Danny Trejo. Yeah, he's a great man. He yeah. really is. He did a lot. He went to prison. 
And then he got out and he was like, yeah, I'm done with that. I mean, sure, he hates gays, but it is what it is. <laughs> Does he? No, I'm just joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know he's like hyper religious and stuff. Well, so yeah, but I mean, I feel like he probably like since he's been in Hollywood and done shit. Yeah. I feel he's probably more open. I find it weird that he owns a vegan donut shop. Yeah. And a taco stand. Yeah, I or don't know. Taco under, shop. Is he vegan? No. Uh uh-huh. Yeah, I think he just does it vegan for like because it's in California. So yeah. Yeah. I remember one time uh You gotta please your uh crowd. I remember one time my wife was watching like one of those like Gordon Ramsay cooking shows mm-hmm. and one of the judges for they were having like a taco episode and they had Danny Trejo on being like one of the judges for like the taco dishes. Apparently he doesn't like spicy. I mean he's old. He probably like Yeah, but he says no, I've never liked spicy. I'm like, yeah, there's people that that's don't. That's so like weird. It. Yeah, I know, but for me, I'm just like a Mexican that doesn't like spicy. Blasphemy. <laughs> well, I mean, or maybe it's a medical thing. All right. I want to move on to the other one that I've been thinking a lot about because this is like something that I've never understood. What? Why people are so into, but people who are enamored with old timey British shows like Bridgerton. And oh, Down yeah. Downton Abbey, yeah, and then fucking like Pride and Prejudice, all that shit. Like it's so boring. Yeah, why it's, are you so into these period pieces? Well, to me, it's not even boring. It's just like it's it's dumb. Yeah. Oh my! No, we have to go to the ball. Oh, it's all time in love with Winifred, and it's like, it's, what the fuck? Also, yeah. this most of these always seem to take place somewhere in like the first to second world war for some reason, and they're always like either in the beginning of like uh, the like roaring twenties, leading into the Great Depression, in the Great Depression, or post Great Depression. It's well, not never Bridgerton. Bridgerton's like yeah, old. way yeah. yeah, way later on, but um, or wait. Way before then, whatever. Yeah, um, earlier. Yeah. But uh. that seems to be like one that they seem to do a lot. And I've always hated. It's like we get it. White people were good back then. Like Jesus. This, this ties into the other thing that I hate people that are obsessed with anything that falls within a certain time period. Mm-hmm. The people who are enamored with like the 60s and 70s and shit. Like get over yourself. Like it, like move on. Like that shit is like that shit was lame. Yeah. I like, mean, they figured out it was lame after a couple of years. Like the like the seventies movement, where everyone was like free love and everything. Mm-hmm. That shit petered out fast. Yeah, because wanna, everyone burnt the fuck out. I want to bring something up real quick because this is something I noticed a long time ago, and I've always wanted to fucking like point this out. Yeah. But back when twenty twenty hit, right before the pandemic, right yeah. before it really popped off, people were a lot of people. I saw a lot of people do this year twenty twenty. Hey. For this new year, since we're going into the 2020s, let's have a Roaring 20 party. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. That was the lamest shit. And you know something I noticed? Out of every photo I saw of people throwing a Roaring 20s, like, uh, like 2020 party, yeah. you know something I noticed in all those photos? Not a single black person. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, are you, like, yeah. I hate when people romanticize times in history that were not favorable to minorities. The 20s, the 30s, the 1950s. Also, 1950s fucking greaser fashion was stolen from Mexicans. So go fuck yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. No, it's true. Yeah. That, that, that was the street culture, and that shit, like, got popularized through, like, movies. Mm-hmm. And then everybody in America was dressing like that. Yeah. All the big hair... And all yeah. this stuff, like I didn't know this, but apparently those old timey dresses where they had the big behind thing, that was because men, at one uh, one point in time, were enamored by the figures of African women. So apparently there was this famous African woman that was taken from Africa and and thrown into a freak show because of how big her rear end was. And her right? name was Nicki Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> no. But basically, men were infatuated with this girl's anatomy because they were like, how could, like, a woman have such a... Like, they I did... feel it's from, like, caveman times. It's just, like, it's that primal little fucking button in your brain that's like, unga bunga, but... But because just, of this yeah. thing that people were so enamored with, that literally pushed a new line of fashion into the world where women were like, well, we have to have these dresses with these giant fake cabooses and mm-hmm. stuff because that's what men like. Men love these giant proportions that white women are not capable of. Yeah. At least not then. No, Nowadays. No, yeah. It's fucking weird how many thick white women there are. There's a lot of thick 
yeah. everybody. That's all my wife forever ago. <laughs> when I was doing that delivery job, yeah, uh, I would hit up. Uh, I would deliver stuff to uh, Publix. Mm-hmm. Every single Publix I went to here, every single one of them had one thick white woman working the bakery, <laughs> and I was like, "God damn, I'm, I'm, I know why you're working that damn cake because you got fucking cake." Jesus Christ! And chill out with that French bread, girl. Yeah, Jesus. And it's like they know. So they wear, like, the tightest pants they can find. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I know it's uncomfortable right now for you working next to a fucking oven wearing, you know, skin-tight khakis. Yeah. Like, just wear loose clothes. It's fine. We know you have a big butt. We can still see it. Maybe they find it more comfortable. Some people do like the tightness. Yeah. Remember, not every... Women don't have balls, so it's not like... No, it's not that. It's like, the like it's it's khakis, but it's, like, on you. And yeah. khakis sometimes are, like, really stiff. Maybe. Maybe they have some, like, really soft versions. I don't know. Just do it with less starch, dog. Yeah. Lose I don't pain. need them crisp. <laughs> they need to stand up for me. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. times are different now. Yeah. There's some things that I still don't like that some people do. I don't like this newer age of, like infatuation of big proportions, you know? Like if I like if 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 you have a small butt or small boobs or small lips, you don't have to enlarge them to feel beautiful. Yeah. Like just to just learn how to love yourself. Somebody out there will love you, you know? But with people who do one, I fucking hate when women go heavy on the lip injections. Look, again, you're free to do whatever yeah. you want with your body, but after a while it looks cartoonish. Yeah, you look and like it, a balloon. It looks very like it's a caricature it's gonna look bad with time yeah. and also people are dying from getting like non-authorized medical people mm-hmm. doing bbls like the brazilian butt lifts and shit yeah because they fill your ass with like cement yeah that happened recently with like i don't know if you know the comedian uh dc young fly no he's like a he's a uh he's like a pretty famous like black comedian right well his um his wife, who he met on the cast of uh, Walden Out, Nick Cannon's Walden Out, mm-hmm. right? You know, they had been married for a while. They had a couple of children. She went down to see some fucking doctor in Florida that apparently was going to, like, uh, it was basically, it was like, I'm going to give you a free procedure just for the press. And she went for it, and she died. Oh, wow. She died. And she left him, like, widowed with three children. Damn. And I'm just like, bro, like, it's, she was a beautiful woman already. Mm-hmm. She didn't need a fucking butt lift or anything. Like, she was already yeah. gorgeous. But it's, like, people build up this, like, insecurity. Like, if I don't, like... Well, it's not that they just build it up themselves. It's what... I mean, it's what pop culture pushes out there. Yeah, it's society like, oh, if you has... you don't look like Kim Kardashian, then you're, you're shit. Kim Kardashian is fucking... She's not... I don't think she's pretty at all. Like, I wouldn't say she's not pretty. She's pretty in the face, but her body's fucking see, like all over the, all the fucking place. With all the work that they've done to their faces, all the Kardashians, they all they all look bad to me. Like <sighs> before, like when they I had think some no of them, work. I think some of them look better than others, and some of them definitely just look really bad. Or what is it? That thing that one of the one of the younger ones put out. So there was like this trend, like a couple of years back. People will get like a like a cup, and they'll suck on it. So it like sucks their lips out, and then when they pull it off, their lips are like super fat. Yeah, and it, it damages your mouth. Like it mm. it blows blood vessels. It'll could fucking pop your lips and shit. And I mean, it'll ruin your mouth. She released one of them released a a lip popper. It's literally just like it's in the shape of lips, and you put it over your lips, and you like pump your lips up, and you have to leave it on there for a while, and then when you take it off, your lips are plump, but. So many people were just damaging their faces because of this shit. Like, just bruised, little blisters everywhere because the blood is just collecting under the mouth. Yeah, I think she also, like, released a line of, like, lip gloss that you could put on mm-hmm. that actually puffs your lips because they put something that irritates oh, your yeah. lips to where it just inflames them. Which I'm like, that cannot be yeah, healthy I for you. People got allergic reactions to them. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I love big lips on a bitch and all, but it's just like <laughs> it, the, you're just taking it too far. Yeah, you're it's just, just when when it's not when it's way out of proportion, it's not good anymore. Like, like, and we sound like fucking assholes over here being like, well, maybe they feel pretty that way. It's like, okay, cool, we get it. But we're it's the same for guys. Like, you see those guys getting the fucking like synthol injections in their forearm, yeah, to make themselves look all strong. 
but they're like, you see their face, they're gone. They look sick because it's poisoning them. Remember, there's guys out there that are choosing to pay for a surgery where they break your legs just to gain two to three inches of height. And they're literally going through a year's worth of rehab to learn how to walk again Mm -hmm. just because society has said, hey, if you're not at least six feet tall, you're not a real man. But then it's weird because when they if you do that, you're out of proportion because the rest of your bones aren't proportionate to that bone anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's just you're going to look fucking weird. Yeah. Well, then again, some people have always had really weird proportions. Yeah, but it's like they're weird proportions. I feel like I have a really long torso. Kind of, but the thing is, like, yeah, some people have, like, longer arms, shorter legs, shorter torsos, longer torso, whatever, or yeah. longer necks. But it's it's still in proportion with their body. Hmm. But when you do something like that, it's out of proportion. It's like the uh, that tribe in Indonesia that elongates the women's necks yeah. to make them look like they're, uh, like, a dragon because mm-hmm. that's what they believe in, whatever. It's kind of like that. Like, it's just... When they first start, their necks are a little longer. They look completely different. They look alien. But yeah. it's because it's not proportionate. So, yeah. I actually saw a video where one of them takes off the rings. And it actually, they don't actually look that different. It it, the, it, push, it doesn't elongate the neck. It, it pushes, pushes the collarbones and shoulders yeah. down. Yeah. Which is completely dangerous. But, you know. <laughs> don't got a lot of head support. That shit's just going to whoop. No, yeah. They have the, <laughs> a lot of them, the ones with the longer necks. The yeah. older ladies, I think they had to, like, lay down to take that shit off. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move on to the next category <laughs> that I, I have listed. Um, anime fans. Calm the fuck down. First, take a shower. Anime fans are can be some of the most pretentious as motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. If you love anime, good for you. Yeah. But why are anime fans so hell-bent on, like, only rooting... For like the ones that mean something to them and then dismissing what other people like. What do you mean you don't watch Attack on Titan? Yeah. It's shit like that. Like No, actually it's the opposite. A lot of times people are like, you watch mainstream anime. You I don't watch Suka Sagadeko, do you, blah, blah, blah. you don't it's watch like, like Doki Doki, like fucking yeah. bullshit, like hentai cum, like whatever. Like some <laughs> some bullshit. Like what, what was it called? Uh, uh, you don't watch dirty laundry no it's just like yeah the people who make like it's it's we get it you like the niche anime good for you guess what not everyone has to fucking like it yeah some people like niche television shows but not everybody does some people just like watching csi all day yeah but like you know everybody is entitled to like like what they like but Anime fans, like, I, I've seen so many videos of people going to conventions, cosplaying as their favorite characters, and having interactions with other people being like, yeah, that anime sucks. Why'd you yeah. dress up as that character? Like, Because it makes them feel good. Yeah, like, who, fuck you. <laughs> what the fuck do you care? And also, it usually comes from somebody who isn't even in costume, so you're just yeah. like, you're just being an asshole. Some, like, neck beard wearing a fedora. Yeah. Yeah, he's like... In your, that's not even a good outfit. You completely messed up the color. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be scion, not light blue. <laughs> See me, I, I enjoy anime, but I actually enjoy reading mangas a lot more because I'd like how when stories are more, I like seeing like the more in depth like stuff stuff that they leave out, right? Yeah. But I don't, I, I don't like being the guy that's like, the manga's better. There's so many people like that. Yeah. I fucking hate it. Because it annoys me because I'm like, bro, obviously you're going to like the one that you enjoy more, but you don't have to dismiss other people's likes. Oh, yeah. And it's, yeah, it's that whole thing. Like, I forgot. <laughs> I was talking to someone, it was a while back, and I was watching, um, I was watching, I forgot what anime, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm watching this on, uh, on it's on Hulu, so I'm watching it. And the first thing that comes out of their mouth is like, but did you read the an- uh, the manga first? No, that's why I'm watching the show, because I want to watch it. Like, does it matter if I didn't read the manga? Yeah. And they're like, well, there's more in there. It's like, cool, I think I'm getting the gist of it. I'll know the things that you know, just not as in-depth as you. Yeah. Cool. I'm okay with that. Also... I f- I don't understand why fans of mangas want to read series 
that are already being developed into animes unless you're just trying to read ahead of the story yeah. because some of it just seems like why like like what's the point for me i take more pleasure in reading mangas that don't have anime or good anime adaptations because yeah. i like a good example is like i'm a huge fan of the berserk series right the berserk has had two different shows one the back in the early 90s and one recently in like 2016 and there's a bunch of movies too right yeah the yeah, yeah the movies um are the beginning arcs yeah. right the three movies basically just cover like the be- they're the first beginning arc right and i think the movies are good some people are like well they left out some stuff it's like i get it they left out some stuff but the thing is yeah, it's they don't have the time to put it all in yeah it's a lot of material yeah and they and there's some stuff that they can't put in there because one they were like they left out this like big character that mm-hmm. should be there i'm like yeah they didn't put that character in because that character fucking did some really bad shit to people yeah like, like there's you, things you're want, you want you want people you want people to animate the R word like no you can't fucking do that. Rape. Well, it's, it's yeah it's and it's one of those things is like I think it kind of falls in with uh, movies that mm-hmm. go out like in theaters. A lot of movies that are rated R have to cut a lot out of their movies to make it rated R because if they get that NC seventeen uh, rating, mm-hmm. they will not make much money off of it. Yeah, because most movie theaters won't play that, and it has to go direct to like like dvd or download or whatever i think most of them end up going to shutter now yeah and it's just like it kind of sucks because like there's some good ones out there but just because they get that nc-17 it's no one really sees it doesn't get catch on and it's like it just becomes something until it, it's something that's put away until like 10 15 years later it becomes a cult classic yeah yeah but like like i said like with the with the, with the berserk series both the anime adaptations that they've had left out a lot, and they've only covered a certain arc because one, the story is very long, mm-hmm. so it's going to take them forever to like animate all this. But also, the second one had a terrible time getting off the ground because they just kept changing the person who's going to be in charge of it. It didn't get as much funding. The CGI ended up looking really fucking bad, and yeah. it just ruined it because people were like, "This is like my favorite fucking like manga." And now I'm watching this bullshit, and it's like it's fucking a hot piece of trash. Yeah. While the movies were great, and people were expecting it to have the same quality of, as the movies, but then you know you still have these fucking pretentious ass fans being like, "Well, they left stuff out." Of course, they're always yeah. gonna leave stuff out. There's some stuff that does not translate well. Yeah, and it's the, it's unnecessary. Like they they want to push. They the show. already put in the most fucked up scene in that in that third movie, and yet people are still like. Well, they forgot the fucked up things that should have been in the second movie. I'm like, shut up. Yeah. Shut up. Go watch the Berserk movies. The Golden Age arc. It's really uh, great. I recommend it for anybody who man. loves a sea in animes. For like... There, there's a good side of fandom, though. Like, um, what is it? Um, for the TV show uh, on Netflix, uh, The Witcher. Yeah. Uh, Henry Cavill stepped down from uh, being, you know, Geralt. Or Gerald, whatever the fuck his name Geralt. is. Geralt. Yeah, Geralt. Jerry. Jerry. He stepped down as Gerard Way. Yeah. From My Chemical Romance. No, yeah, and he stepped down because they, they, it, what was it? They sent him the script and he was like, hey, this doesn't really follow the arc of the story anymore. It's mm-hmm. kind of, you diverted from it. And they're like, yeah, we're going to kind of go this way, see what happens. And he's like, yeah, if you do that, I'm not going to do it anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, and he stuck to his gun. So when they said, we're not going to change, he's like, all right, I'm not doing it anymore. See, this is one thing that I've been hearing a lot yeah. of people have discussion about. Because, you know, right now they're still having those strikes, right? Yeah. And it's like because they want writers to get more pay and they want actors to get more residuals and shit like that, you know? Yeah. But here is one thing that I've noticed is anytime recently an actor has talked about like, hey, I wanted to, I wanted to talk about how a lot of writers wanted to do this and we deviated from what they wanted because we thought it was better. And then writers being like, how dare they question like our ability to write? Well, the thing is so many people are hell bent on getting their ideas on paper Mm -hmm. so they can credit themselves for being the ones that made that decision, even though it might be the worst decision. It's kind of like, I know recently on our last episode, we talked a little bit how, 
uh, the DC universe keeps fumbling the ball here because more yeah. than likely you have these executives and these writers no, that's what it is. that are like, no, we have to do it this way. When if you gave it a little bit more loose kind of like um, if you gave them a little bit more like liberty to make changes here and there to really tweak the story and make it like more, I guess, uh, better. just better for like yeah. fans in general. You wouldn't like have so many people like complain that this is just a jumbled up mess. Well, it's like it's partly on the writers because I feel like, well, maybe the writers that were that were writing all the stories for the DC movies, mm-hmm. you know, they knew their shit. Maybe they were like big DC fans, and they were like, "Oh yeah, we 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 have the source material, we have the comics, we read them, and we want to do it this way." But it, for most of the DC movies, was m- most of the fuck ups were because the the film companies were like, no, we need to do this because uh, our our focus group says that this works better. It's like the focus group that is just random people off the street that probably have never heard of fucking, like, or never really picked up a comic book or anything. Yeah. It's just like, no, do it the way that it's... And that's me going into fandoms, like, do it the way it's written in the comics. But mm. I know you can't, and everyone knows it can't. But if you let the writers write it that know about it, they'll they'll do it justice. Yeah. Like, yeah, they'll have to tweak things to make it more like more appealing for cinema. Mm-hmm. But it'll still be good. There's been so many cases of like people who st- were st- were hell bent on like I want this project to be made. Mm-hmm. And so many places turn them down until the one finally gives them a chance and ends up becoming a massive hit. Uh, Still Rest Just Alone. Yeah. The, the first Rocky. Yeah. 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 He was but, living like on the fucking street. He sold his dog. Yeah. He bought that dog back. Yeah, he did. He hunted that fucking dog down. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing, the thing, the, the main thing is just that um, people are so hell bent on getting their names attached to things that they're willing to put out a mediocre product just because they were able to, you know, they weren't able to live with the idea that somebody else had a better idea. Yeah. I, I could see that, but I don't think it's, I think it happens a lot more than people realize. Yeah. But most, they put nipples on Batman, (laughs) Joe. And what's wrong with that? (laughs) Let them have nipples. What's wrong with nipples? Free the nipple. Not on Batman. Yeah. Batman has nipples. Take it off. Catwoman's like... They put it on her. Robin, too. But why didn't they put it on Batwoman? Hmm? Yeah. Racist. Put it on <laughs> Racist. Against the whites. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. You know, I, I'm, you know I'm, I'm hoping the, the writer strike and everything goes, you know, their way. They get what they need. Because um, the big story that I heard was, uh, you know, the, uh, there was a really good show, The Bear. Uh-huh. And... One of the episodes on the second season, I think it was. It was like the second or third episode. Yeah. Was like I think the the it was like the most highly rated episode of that season. Mm-hmm. That person got jack shit out of residuals. Like they were getting sense on residuals. And yeah. it's because it's it goes back to the whole um just streaming services have changed the game. It's not like T V where it's like if it syndicates, you're fucking golden. You're gonna get money like in and out. It's fine. But have you seen the whole thing about that people have talked about the actor's white t shirt? Like the t shirts that he wears in that in the in the show The Bear? No, what about? They're like fifty dollar white t shirts. Are you serious? That come from Japan and they're supposed to be like the most comfortable shirts you can buy. Huh. Because they're not seamed. What? So you know how like Yeah, we have the seam. So it's just like one solid piece? Yeah, because it's it's oh. made on this like really vintage like fucking oh, like cool. um, thing, but, but but this this machinery is so fucking old it takes it forever to make like well, yeah. like, like shirts, but then, but that's why it's got that price tag, hmm. and but they're supposed to be like one of the high quality. I didn't know this, but there's a there's a whole community of people that just review shirts, yeah, like review like like. Oh, oh it, it, the show kind of t- touches into it because remember mm-hmm. in the first episode of the of the show, like in the first season, to get some money for the meat, uh, like in the beginning, a little bit, mm-hmm. um, he had he collects vintage Levi's, yeah, and he sells them 
Like he's like, hey, this Levi's L, this one's worth like five hundred fucking dollars. Yeah, because it's like from nineteen seventy eight has the button that they don't use anymore. Blah blah blah, and he's trading it for like meat. Yeah, and it's like, I I think that's cool that they add those little tidbits in there. Maybe he did it because he's actually like a real life like collector of things like that. Yeah, that's why he buys fifty dollar white shirts. Some people have impeccable fashion yeah. sense too. Don't get me wrong, like. I kind of thought about it. It's like, you know, maybe maybe people do invest a lot of money on clothes, not for the sake of bragging that it's expensive, yeah. but they just love a quality product. No, yeah, think about it. Sure, it's great. Because, like, I would much rather spend $50 for a high-quality white tee than spend, like, $500 for a like, Versace button-up. Yeah. Like, why? Like, why do I need this flashy bullshit that's name brand that everybody knows when I can have something that's so much more, like... I wouldn't get a white shirt. If it came in black, I'd get a black one. I'm sure they come in different colors. Yeah, because like to me, like for me, I thought you were gonna go the round. was like I wouldn't spend it unless it was a graphic tee and it had like Scooby Doo on it. Hell's yeah, dude, <laughs> hundred dollars. <laughs> no, I'd, 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 it'd be cool to see if it like if it lives up to the, the hype. My wife collects Scooby Doo T-shirts. <laughs> you serious? Yeah, I don't know why, but um, one summer she got really into just watching all the Scooby Doo. <laughs> What's the Scooby Doo? Is and, that uh, her fandom? And uh, <laughs> it's wonder. Uh, it's funny. One time I was jokingly telling her, I was telling her how like back in the early days of like you know, of, you know, just growing up. Yeah. You know, uh, my mom had this weird habit of watching like odd shows because like if her novellas weren't on, yeah, she would be on WB and she would watch Supernatural. Which I thought was fucking hysterical. What the fuck? And, and then years later, a bunch of my friends were watching Supernatural. And I was just like, why are you watching the show? And he's like, honestly, it's like mindless, dumb fun. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And I told Denise this. She watched the whole series <laughs> from beginning to end. And she loved it. I heard the ending of it was fucking terrible, though. Uh, I mean, they die. No, but like it was like very forced, the ending. The ending like, was yeah, they did too. They there's like there's fan service that's good, but they did too much fan service. Like I I don't agree with that. I don't know. I never watched it. Like I've I've seen like maybe two or three episodes of Supernatural. Yeah, I mean I thought like, the I ending the was season. fine. The ending the ending was fine to me. Like one of them dies before the other one. The other one does grow old, and they basically reunite in heaven. Like yeah. that's, that's that's the ending. I was just like that's not a bad ending. Yeah, but wasn't heaven like a bridge and like. Like the bayou or some shit like that. It was just like, I mean, I guess heaven can be interpreted differently. Yeah. But basically it was just like an open road and they, he, Dean gets to enjoy driving his fucking car. My heaven is, is me surrounded by Garuda women. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's surrounded by the Gorons. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but yeah, I wonder if there's anyone out there that just simps over the Gorons. Probably. Yeah. Dude, rule 34. Oh God, dude! I don't. I don't want. See that. I don't want to look. Just the craggiest dick ever. You're, you're lucky I didn't set up the TV. I yeah, would have already Jesus searched Christ. it. <laughs> no, we would have gotten distracted looking at muscle mommies and stuff uh, like that. Probably. Yeah. All right, moving on to the next <laughs> fandoms. Um, um, do you got one? No, go for it. Okay, RPG and FPS fans. Yeah, like Call of Duty fucking people that are people just who all only, about it. People who only play that. Yeah. I, and I can also add another one to it. Souls fans. Yeah, they can get fucking annoying. Because the thing is, like, have some variety, guys. Yeah. Like, I'm not a huge fan of FPSs, but I love playing Doom. Yeah. That's a fun game. Who doesn't like who doesn't love just blowing up demons? Yeah. That, that's fun. I'm not huge on Call of Duty or or playing like battlefield games, but occasionally some of them are pretty fucking fun. Yeah. But like, and then to me, the annoying fans for the video games are the uh, the JRPG ones. Yeah. Like, have you played Final Fantasy twenty three Desadia X nine GG Triple X <laughs> Double Fuck Ton Chocobo Edition Re- <laughs> Remix? <laughs> yeah, it's like no, I haven't played that one. No, I haven't at all. Yeah. I'm playing through Final Fantasy right It's like, now. are you even a fan? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, bitch, I had to deal with the junction system, all right? Yeah. The junction system was fucking dope. Because uh, it fucking... Yeah. It's, uh, if you know the tricks of that game, it yeah, becomes yeah. so broken so quickly. Like, you put death on everyone's weapons? Yeah. Yeah. 
That was always fun to do. But yeah. then it just makes the game boring because you fucking one hit kill everything. Well, it's also the the game was flawed itself because it's like they um if they they made it to where you could just like not level up your character and just yeah. mow through everything. Like it's fucking insane that they even did that. Yeah. <laughs> but it's because nobody People figured out the system. Mm -hmm. people, when people figure out how to exploit the system, oh, they'll exploit the living yeah. shit out of it. Or like, uh, I remember when I would play it back in the day, mm -hmm. and it's like now you can look up on Google, look all like the little tricks and hidden things you can get. Like uh, the first one of the first hidden uh, uh, GFs, the Guardian Forces that you can get, mm -hmm. is the uh, the one that you draw out of uh, the two little like. This like, is like the, the Minotaur guys? No, that's that's another thing. Uh and that's like you have to go there. But yeah. you can but you get them if you keep going cuz you you get sent there by the guard at the palace. Mm -hmm. Before you meet like the the whatever the fuck it is, the general guy to go kill fucking oh, we're, uh, By the way, we're we're talking about Final Fantasy 8 for anybody who doesn't yeah. know. The best and, Final Fantasy. Yeah. And then um you have to go into like that little like weird like a uh, little ruins place that's a fucking maze it's like it's four or five concentric circles and you always get lost in it mm -hmm. because on that place the camera angle switches when you go into something it doesn't do like the random camera angle it's always behind you so you'll lose your way really fast yeah um but you have to go there to get the code off of the sword that's right at the beginning yeah it's like someone's id number so you can go back give it to the guy <laughs> and then he lets you meet the general yeah. But if you keep going, then you can get the brothers uh GF thing. Mm. And then cool, they're 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 all right. It it's not that great actually. Yeah. But the other one I'm talking about is Carbuncle. It's the one that you draw out of the two iguana tiger things that Adia Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That puts out. I remember as a little kid when like I would go to the store to Walmart with my mom, I would go into the section and read the fucking like like a fucking, uh, what are the, the strategy guides? Yeah, the strategy yeah. guides and shit. Just be like, what did I miss? And blah, blah, blah. And mm -hmm. that's where I learned, like, oh, you can draw a carbuncle from the one on the right. It was like, what the fuck is carbuncle? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's not even a good. Uh, I love remembering the things that you didn't realize yeah. you shouldn't have done. Like whenever you summon the djinn too early. Oh, he had Diablo? Yeah. Yeah. Because you, you, you're like, oh, what happens if you do? If you mm -hmm. use this magic lamp and you go into one of the hardest fucking boss fights but if it, you're not ready for it? No, and then you don't have to be ready for it. That's mm. the thing. Yeah. I learned the, the, the strat on that is he can be blinded. And his two attacks that he does is Gravijaw and Demi. Mm -hmm. Demi takes away 25% of your health. Gravijaw takes away 75% of your health. Mm -hmm. But then when he does it again, it takes 25% of what you have left or 75% of what you have left. Mm -hmm. So those two attacks cannot kill you. What kills you is when he does his, uh, his regular attack. He just come flies to you and fucking swipes you. It's like 400 HP. Yeah. That's what kills everyone. If you blind them, he cannot hit you. Mm. So that's how you beat him. You blind them. And then all you do is <laughs> you just... <laughs> You just you draw you stock up as much fucking gravajaws and demis. He has a lot of magic you can draw from him. Yeah. So you just you use two people to just take as much magic as you can, mm -hmm. and then someone else you cast from his magic. You do like the draw, and then cast from his stock. Yeah. And you just keep hitting him with his magic, and then just keep using the GFs to knock him down more. Yeah. Because he has like ten thousand hp and like at the beginning of the game you're like how the fuck am i gonna kill you yeah but if you just keep doing the grabber jaws and that's what i'm saying when you first you encounter him and you don't know the strat mm -hmm. you're just kid. like he's just fucking whoop destroying me dog and then you do the thing that i did he's fucking raping me yeah <laughs> you do the thing that i did and you don't fucking say it before you press it <laughs> and you're like son of a bitch <laughs> Dude, I remember those times where, like, you'd have a memory card go corrupt. Uh, so you just have to keep the system on. <laughs> you just don't turn it off. It'd be there running mm -hmm. for days. But you're like, hey, it's still it's working. Up and into it sucks because it corrupts them. Like, if you accidentally, like, bump into your PlayStation and move the memory card. Yeah. Corrupted. Yep. Everything's corrupted. Memory it's cards were rough stupid. back then, dog. Yeah. Um. But no, yeah, all the all the game fans like uh, for Souls, like people are like, 
if you don't play solo, you're a fucking pleb. It's like, no, I just. Well, I that like is it. true, but I mean, it, <laughs> <laughs> sure. Well, it's because like it. Here's the thing. It's fun. Souls are fun, fun games. Like Dark Souls games are fun, and they are hard. But <clears throat> yes, yeah, fucking but frustrating. Let's, but let's be fun. fuck. No, but let's be honest. It's not hard. It's not hard at all. It's just timing. It's whether or not you can learn to be patient or not. Yeah. And there's it, like the new ones, like uh, the Elden Ring. Yeah. Which I still haven't played. I need to play it. It's a great game. Yeah. It's probably the best, like, Souls yeah. version that they've made. But there's that guy that was on, on TikTok, and I saw him do it finally. That new Armored Core looks awesome, too. Oh, I want to see that, yeah. Because I didn't know that From Software made all the previous ones. Yeah. I, I didn't know that there was that, that was one of their properties. Because I played in Armored Core a long time ago, mm-hmm. and it wasn't that great. It was kind of like, it was really clunky. But this new one, they made it a lot more like, you know, fuck, yeah. caution to the wind, blast away. It's kind an of anime. Shit. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I'm all about it. But, um, yeah, like on Elden Ring, this guy, he was on TikTok, and he was streaming him. So he's on Twitch, too. Yeah. And he was going, he was trying to kill every boss, uh, no armor, no weapons, only throwables. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That guy streams on TikTok. I know. Yeah. He's like I a bigger dude he, with like a mustache. Yeah. And I saw him kill the, um, it was like that fire worm dragon thing. Mm-hmm. And it like throws the fireballs that track you and everything. And he just yeah, like yeah, lights yeah. the whole place on fire. I remember I saw his stream like going through like TikTok for like three weeks straight. And he could not fucking beat it. And then one day I was I was looking through and I was like, I'll watch him. And in five minutes, he finally beat it. And he just like drops his control. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to. You, you know you know what uh, community I absolutely adore mm. the speedrunning community. <laughs> speedrunners, great games. Speedrunners are so fucking yeah. like determined to find ways. You know what my new favorite one is? Mm. Somebody made a speedrun a Baldur's Gate. How quickly you, you can, can get fuck this someone? You, yeah. How quickly somebody got it down to two minutes? Yeah, it's fucking crazy. People are just like, I can beat it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking insane. Or and when it, they do uh, speedruns for the devs. They're mm-hmm. like, hey, let me show you how fast I can beat the game that you worked on for four fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> you spent, you burned four years of your life. You probably went through a divorce. And here you go, two minutes. <laughs> yeah, when Tears of the Kingdom came out, somebody had beaten like the game in within an hour, mm-hmm. and it was because they learned like, okay, so I have to, you have to do the tutorial area, and then after that, you can just immediately go and fight Ganon. Yeah. Well, they yeah. did that on the the first one too. Yeah, they did, they did that yeah. on Breath of the Wild. It's just whether or not anybody is skilled enough to do it. Yeah, so you have to be good at like timing and other. Oh no, I think you technically also have to. <clears throat> I think you have to get the Master Sword too. I think I think you're required to have the Master Sword in, in yeah. order to fight him because. If I, if I, I I could be wrong, I actually I haven't fought Ganon yet, so I don't know. I'm yeah. still I know where he's at. I can get to him whenever I want to. I just. What are you scared? Huh? Bitch. No, I want to do everything else. Like yeah. I want I want the true ending as think, in like I I finally did everything. Yeah, I think I'm um I haven't played Zelda in a while, the the first one. Mm-hmm. Uh because I have all this stuff to go fight Ganon. But I'm like, but there's so much other, I, I I still need to find all the little golden poops. On uh, the first one? Yeah. Yeah, well, again, and, um, and then I still need to do like all the other little side missions and everything. Although technically, I should just go ahead and go fight Ganon because the thing is, even after you beat him, like you can still play it. You can still play and yeah. do everything else, and it just resets it to where like, yeah, like you beat Ganon and you get the true ending, whatever. Mm-hmm. But you still have the option to go back and fight him again. Yeah, I was trying to um one percent or a hundred percent Hollow Knight, mm-hmm. and uh, my game bugged. That's hard. Yeah. No, That's I, fucking hard. I was almost done. I was at, I was at like 98, 99%. But my game bugged because when you go to the very bottom of the map, it's like the where the lighthouse is where you get like the uh, the other cloaks so you can go through all the other yeah. shit. There's a, there's a gate where you have to... It's a gate. You have to bring the little life bugs that you break and then you absorb them and you get the little extra life. You have to bring like nine of those to there. So you have to go find different ones, bring them down, and then you have to do it again, I think. Yeah. Without any, taking any damage because you have to bring them all down there. Mm. Opens the door, you go inside, you get something. And then when you go outside uh, on the floor, there's something starts shining and it opens up. And then you have to go down there. I did the gate 
with the little blue things, but the power went out at the house. It was during a storm, mm. and then when it loaded back up, the gate wouldn't open. Damn. Yeah, so it bugged. I was like, well, fuck this then. I'm not doing it. Yeah, I'm sure there's a way you can, like, um, um, pass it. Mm-hmm. And usually they have, like, updates and shit that can help you from not getting getting good. I mean, I'm al- I already beat the game, and I pretty much did everything else. I'm kind of like, all right, whatever. It's yeah. fine. It's funny because, like, I've had this conversation before because I remember one time I was playing, like, uh, like an older – I think I was playing, like, Shovel Knight, mm-hmm. and a friend had came over to hang out, and he was like, why are you playing this? I'm just like – it's fun. Yeah. And then he was just like, yeah, but he's like, I don't know. These games just seem too simple. I'm like, that's good. It's like, yeah, but they're still difficult. Yeah. And he was just like, they can't be that hard. I'm like, bro, they're a lot harder than you think they are. Yeah. And he was just like, it's like, there's no way they're harder than like a Dark Souls or Demon Souls and shit like that. I was like, look, dude, I know you love those games like hardcore, mm-hmm. but I guarantee you these are a lot harder. And he's like, there's no fucking way. He's like, all right, prove me wrong then. Go tonight. Go buy Hollow Knight and tell me how long it takes you to beat it. Yeah. Tell me how long it takes you to beat it. A couple of weeks passed by, and I was like, how's Hollow Knight? And he's like, yeah, I gave up on the game. The game was too hard. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it, I told you. Because you yeah. don't, like, it's a different type of patience. I would have been like, go play uh, Super Ninja Gaiden. Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember he used to always be the biggest shit talker where he mm-hmm. was just like, yeah, Dark Souls is pretty tough, but I mean, I'm pretty good at it. I'm like, then it's not tough. Like you, yeah. w- like if you're good at it, it's if you're good shit. at if you're if if you're good at something, then it's not tough. Yeah. It's just tough to some people. Like a good example would be like you probably excel at FPS as compared to me because you've played more than I have. Because yeah. I I don't have the patience for those games, but I played a lot of Souls games. Mm-hmm. So and I've gotten to the end of most of them. So I probably excel at those games compared to you. Yeah, totally. Like, yeah, and, and the same goes with like, like for me, I suck. I fucking suck at Street Fighter. I'm t- always been terrible at it, but I fucking wreck people on Soul Calibur because for whatever reason, I just love that. I, I've always been good at Soul Calibur. I fucking suck at Mortal Kombat. I've always sucked at Mortal Kombat. Because uh, Street Fighter is more technical. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like you. Eat- those combos, yeah, those are fucking hard to pull off. Sometimes, there's been times before where I was like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty decent at yeah. Super Smash Brothers, and then you play a guy who like plays professionally that likes to go to tournaments and stuff, yeah. and they just wreck the fucking floor with you. Like it, it's it's humbling. It was like when we went when we did the 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 episode for the uh, Super Smash Bros tournament. Yeah, there's that one dude that like he always won the tournaments. Yeah, because it was he, uh, what's his face, uh, Sebulba from. Uh, no, it wasn't Sabo. Was, no, it wasn't Saboba. It was the other dude. Um, what's his fucking name? He um, was it the big guy. No, he was the dude with glasses. Sacred. Oh, sacred. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That dude. That dude was fucking yeah, he really was. good. But the other guy beat him. Was it Saboba? Did? Yeah. <laughs> That's not even his real name. I know. I forgot name. his name. <laughs> I just remember we kept calling him Saboba. Yeah, because he was a big motherfucker and he had like <laughs> spikes. He was pink. <laughs> <laughs> he was part of the Ginyu Force. <laughs> Uh, yeah that's so fucked <laughs> it's so funny to think about that um when you give somebody a forced nickname yeah because you don't know their real name yeah like that one guy his name was fish that young guy yeah yeah what are we doing i don't know where you at fish <laughs> hit us up <laughs> he probably doesn't listen to this anymore yeah he probably because we made too much fun of him oh yeah yeah i mean this is a given yeah <laughs> we, we should probably do another um, oh, you know who never hit us up? Who? That one fucking uh, beaner that we talked to. <laughs> <laughs> we're Mexican, by the way. Let's not forget that. Yeah, we're brown. We can say that. Yeah. Yeah, that fucking wet bag. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. But uh, because we were going to talk to him because he did, uh, what the fuck was it, DMT? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we were going to talk about that. But he never yeah. hit us up. You know, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. It's like we've done a lot of solo episodes, just yeah. you and me talking. We need to get guests on. So no, yeah, we've been talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know we haven't like. Uh, it's mainly because we've been so fucking busy lately, yeah. you know, working and shit, and and I'm still working on like the final like production yeah. setup and shit. Like I, I do like this space, but I would much prefer to have a more um, flexible space. Yeah. Just because I can't really have people over here just because it's pretty, it's, uh, we can take it on the road, travel. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I th- I'm gonna try to contact some people, and hopefully we can do some stuff. That one band. Yeah, yeah. There's that band that we thought yeah. about like contacting. And there's just one guy who we know who um, he's a streamer. So we could talk to him oh, about yeah. like online streaming and stuff, and like. I feel like we're at our best when we're giving other people shit. Yeah. Because <laughs> we give each other shit nonchalantly. Yeah. We can get my dad. Like, we got to get my dad on here one yeah. day. That'd be funny. I'm afraid to give your dad shit, though. I don't know what will strike a chord with him or not. A lot. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Is, like, I don't want him to get emotional, and I also don't want him to get mad at me. Because I'm like, fuck. Because <laughs> I've done that before. Yeah. <laughs> I've done that before by accident. Did I ever tell you about that one time? No, yeah, the prison thing. It was like what? fucking you guys or whatever. No, I didn't say that. No, what did you say? It was like something about dropping. Your, da- your dad? No, your dad had a lip. Got a lip tattoo of your mom's name. Oh yeah. Yeah, and he was just like he. She showed it to us, and we're like, "What does it say?" And he was gonna say God of Man, but I said he said semen, and then he got mad at me. <laughs> so I was just like, gave me like he was about to rip my fucking head off. Yeah. I was just like, I'm joking, <laughs> and then. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can't help myself. I can't yeah. help myself to like say a joke if the opportunity is there. Yeah, dude. It's, I don't know why, but like at work, I just been like not giving a shit lately anymore. Yeah, and I'm just like making fun of people, <laughs> my coworkers, <laughs> and especially when they laugh. Like they'll laugh, and I'm just, they'll be like, ha, ha, "I'll hear way," and I'm just like really loud. <laughs> 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 and I have one coworker. Her laugh is so. It's like a really high pitch, and it's like a, oh. <laughs> what, yeah. like a fucking it's like turkey. A boo. <laughs> 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 it's just a fucking turkey. <laughs> just looks like one. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I don't like this lady. Dude. Don't worry, I'll yeah. stuff any turkey. <laughs> oh God, you don't want to stuff this one. She got little tiny hands. I mean, you, uh. yeah, I got, I got a, I got a ace in the hole. It's called alcohol. <laughs> I'll be blackout drunk. You get enough in you. You don't care what it is. If it's a hole, it's a hole. You wake up, you're fucking a, an actual turkey. Yeah. Yeah. You bought that's a butterball. How, that's how I got VD. <laughs> <laughs> what, veggie dick? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but no. Um, what's another fandom? Um, what you else you got? What well, else you got? Well, the last thing I had listed down is... Um, uh, I guess I don't know if this counts as a fandom, but hardcore conservative Republicans and liberals. Yeah, there's fandoms. There's their fandoms. People like, were like all about like I was like like diehard Hillary fans. Yeah, and see, like she murdered people. See, I've had conversations with this before with people I work with. Like I have one friend at work who um, he's he's a really he's a really nice guy. He's an he's an older man, mm-hmm. right? And um, he has been a hardcore like. Uh, Democrat his whole life. He's always been on the Democratic Party side, right? Yeah. But he is one of those guys that refuses to see fault in anything that is oh, Democrats, yeah. where I'm like, you're telling me that you believe that every Democrat is perfectly in the best interest of people and they aren't doing yeah. some stuff for their own personal interests? And he's like, he's like, I know people like that are capable. I just don't think they, they exist as often as you think they are. I'm They've like, done it. He's like, like no Pelosi. Majority of the yeah. people in current day politics are bought and paid for, and I try to tell him that, and he's like, "Well, you're I don't know. I feel like you, he he was telling me that like I think you have a very like libertarian viewpoint on like how things are. I'm like I'm not trying to have a libertarian viewpoint. I'm the kind of person that's just like I don't buy." either party's bullshit because yeah. I'm a no bullshit kind of guy. Stop fucking trying to feed me what I want to hear. Yeah. Start proving it by doing the things that you need to do in order for me to trust you. Did you see that Mitch McConnell fucking turned off again? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> ding, like, ding, 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 ding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, I lagged there for a second. Sorry, I just uh, logged into the metaverse. (laughs) I had a quick update. I'm sorry. But no, like... He's done. He's done. There's no way he can recover from this. uh, On my phone, I get, like, news updates. Mm -hmm. The the fucking doctor that, like, looks over everyone there at, like, Capitol Hill or whatever, the Capitol Hill doctor, whatever the fuck it is, cleared him. (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, he's like, no, he's fine. He's like, he's not fine. He is not fine at like, all. There was another, it was like a bunch of doctors came out and they're like, that's, those are like, that's, I, we think he's having a stroke. Like, it's like a mini stroke. And he's like, ah, he's fine. Just get him out there. Somebody again. took someone took that footage of him freezing up again, and they they put a bunch of bombs going off in the background with like imprisoning me, everything I see, I have a true horror. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's like they just added Metallica yeah. to it. <laughs> but it's just like they just need to fucking like start firing people. They just need to get people out of here. <laughs> they uh, like I talked to my coworkers about it today. We were talking about this and. uh so is he stroking out or is that's what it seems like? Like you see him and he's like, you'll see him kind of moving and his hands are just like, and he doesn't know what he's doing and his eyes go wide and he gets like that million yard stare, a thousand yard stare, whatever it is. Yeah. I don't but understand. This time, if you look at his mouth, he's like, like he can't control it. Mm -hmm. So people are like, his brain's just like fucking restarting. Like it, something's going on and they just keep putting him out in front of people. Because he has all the power right now for the Republican Party. Like, he runs that shit. Yeah, but he's dying. <laughs> he's fucking dead already. He's a walking corpse. They're just pumping him full of fucking whatever they can. They're weak into Bernie him, man. They, they pretty much are. Yeah. The fucking, um... They're giving him, like, a fucking cocktail of, like, like energy supplements. <laughs> you just see someone behind him. Hold on. Just pulls out a fucking, like... You know, the, the fucking, uh... The... Uh, adrenaline that they yeah. give you when your heart's fucking stopping. Yeah. Just like, hold on. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm the mad. only other explanation I can think of is maybe he's just trying really careful to be still <laughs> because there's a predator in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just... <laughs> I'm changing I like my... the first one, though. I'm Everyone changing my like... internal temperature to cold. <laughs> fucking lizard. But no, like, people were like, he shat himself <laughs> again. He, he he thought he was safe with that fart, <laughs> but he just shit himself, and or, he's like... Or what is it? Like, a couple of years back, Giuliani was, like, testifying in court for something, and he's <laughs> He's just shitting himself, and he's like... And he just keeps talking through it, like, no one can hear my farts. <laughs> God. But just... They need to... It, it's just, like... They're talking about it. A lot of people, a lot more people are talking about it. It's been a thing for the longest time. Mm. They need to set an age, an age limit. Like, if you can't be in Congress until you're 25, cool. Then you can't be in Congress if you're 65 or 65 or older. It should be retirement age. Well, now it's 67. Okay. You, you can't be in Congress longer than 67. Yeah. Yeah. That that's it. Like, but everyone knows retired. sixty-seven is the new seventy-seven, <laughs> and seventy-seven isn't as bad nowadays. It's eighty-nine is eighty-nine. Yeah. So <laughs> but no, it is and eighty-nine just... is the new three hundred. <laughs> as long as you're a wizard, <laughs> you just have to drink children's blood. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's just like all these things can fi <laughs> it can fix a lot of problems if we have new people in the office. Yeah, it'll cause problems. Like, but I, everyone's like, the good will probably outweigh the bad that comes with it. Just, just like, we, we can't have fucking uh, McConnell who's been alive since fucking <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. What if the next time we see him on TV, he's wearing, like, sunglasses, and he's just, like... He's visibly rotting. <laughs> he's, he's, they're just moving him, like, around, and he's like, I'm totally okay. Yeah, well, like, his <laughs> AIDS were up there with them, like, in the second one. He like, has one AIDS? <laughs> His like helper people, like uh, the people that help him. <laughs> Stupid. It's like he had an AIDS outbreak. Well, he probably does. Like he's probably had every disease known to man. Yeah. Yeah. He had COVID first. <laughs> it must suck to be that old where like if you fart, you run the risk of having a prolapsed anus. Yeah. It yeah. can't be good. I'll just get. <sighs> Maybe he was getting his dick sucked under the fucking podium. And he's just fucking busting the nut. Just yeah. and that's his nut face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to. I'm about to come. Imagine you come so hard, you have a thousand yard stare. <laughs> <laughs> Was it good for you? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm not done. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, no, and then God. he forgot what he was talking about too. Yeah. But yeah. And then it, it's the same. Man, it's the same thing. We talked about it too uh, on the other end, on the Democratic side. Mm -hmm. Feinstein, whatever the fuck her first name is. Yeah, she's ninety one, mm -hmm. um, and she was gone. She was out of office for 
because she was sick and she got hurt or something. And it was like, it was a couple months, like three, four months. She was out. Yeah. And then when she came back, people were like, um, how was your time away? Do you, uh, I'm glad you're, I'm, I'm sure you're happy that you had the rest and you're ready to get back to work. She's like, oh, I've been here the whole time. And they're like, no. And the, they're like, well, you've been gone for like a couple months. She's like, no, I've been here working. It's I've been like, in the dungeon. No, but it's like, it's like you lost three to four months of your life and you think you've been here. You need to get the fuck out of here. Man, they're fucking like. Yeah. They're like deep state programming these motherfuckers to forget shit. Yeah. Like, you're good to go, man. Or they're just old. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Mitch McConnell's been needing to get the fuck yeah. out of there, but he can't. I'd after- be like grandma if she was in Congress. After this second slip up, I don't see the justification he can have to still stick around. They cleared him, bro. Again? I just told you they fucking cleared him today. <sighs> it happened like what two days ago, and then today they're like, "He's fine. He's good." So he's just like, "I just have to make sure I don't die." Yeah, and they were talking to him about reelection in two years. I was like, "This motherfucker isn't gonna make it two more years." I think. I think. I think this year's it for yeah. him. The um, way he's going right now, just these two slip ups in just like a month. Or people, <laughs> have you seen the TikToks? People are like, both times this has happened to Mitch McConnell when he gets that stare. Mm-hmm. That motherfucker's seeing death walking towards him. Yeah, and he's like trying to make his way through the crowd, and then he finally snaps at him, and that's like, oh, I'll get you next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe he just realized that he left the oven on. <laughs> say, oh fuck! I forgot to turn off my mom's frijoles. <laughs> Shit! She's gonna be so mad. <laughs> Have you burnt the frijoles before? Oh, yeah. That is a day. You, you and it's like, and you can't hide it because can't the house it. stinks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like the smell of frijoles sticks more than like the smell of death. I've never gotten an ass whooping so hard in my life. Because <laughs> like, I get it. You waste food. Can't waste food, dog. Yeah. But like, uh, it's like just it's fucking beans, guys. Come on. Yeah, but it's like yeah. they they take their beans very seriously. No, I know. Man. You gotta, you gotta I know. Be, and it's like, but then again, it's like if they take it that serious, why are they putting the trust of like a child? Yeah. to watch over them. Make sure the beans. You got to stir it every couple of minutes. Mom, I'm seven. <laughs> it's dangerous for me to go to the stove. Come on, it's dangerous. <laughs> My new favorite meme is the whole like. You telling your mom that you're sick, and she's like, it's because you've been on that damn PlayStation. Yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> it's because you've been on that damn phone. It's yeah. like, what the fuck? I have the flu. <laughs> I broke my arm. <laughs> ya ves? Cuando piche Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> yeah. But so yeah. what happens when you eat those wampa fruits? <laughs> uh, God, you know what my favorite snack was when I was a kid? When we had a gas stove. What? Uh, getting a hot dog, a weenie, oh. and then burning it over the stove mm-hmm. on a fork. But I remember one time I did it, and I got that I got that weenie fucking charred up, dude. It was so fucking good. I was about mm-hmm. to go- gobble that glizzy. Yeah. And uh, I went to take a bite, and I like my lip hit the fork, and you hear it fucking burnt the shit out mm-hmm. of my lip, dude. Yeah. Because I was a dumbass, and I put it all the way through. You're just kind of supposed to kind of like put it on there a little. Yeah. And then you just kind of cook it. I miss having a gas stove. Yeah. Nothing beats having a gas stove, dog. Yeah. But gas is fucking dangerous and expensive. Yes, it is. <laughs> we need to save the planet. But I'm tired of those fucking like electric coil things, how they fuck up so quickly. Yeah. And then I, those 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 flat, um, what is it, like the, the clear ones? Yeah, I have one of those. Those motherfuckers crack. You just got to be careful with them. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing that I found out from... The other one, the one that we had before, because the one we had before cracked. Yeah. And it's because I didn't know this. I don't know if anyone else. You're not supposed to throw pans at it. (laughs) (laughs) No, it's, um, you're supposed to take the pans off of it when you're done cooking. Like after you're done, when you turn it off, immediately have to take the pan off of it because the heat of the pan will like fuck with it. Like as it's cooling and it'll weaken it. And that's what causes it to crack. What the fuck? Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? So, yeah. But so how am I supposed to keep my food warm while yeah. I like, get everything else ready? Well, we got one that has a warming function. Oh. Um, yeah. And then we never use it. But, you know, but we take it off. <laughs> you put it on a thing and, you know, on a little, like, like a little, like, cork pad. Yeah. So that way we can just take it off of there. Because, like, shit, I'm going to try to break one. Because it was such a hassle to get it put into. 
Yeah. Because when we bought it, we're like, cool. Now we have to do, you know, I, I pulled the other one off. It was plugged into the wall. Whatever. Cool. I got the other one, pulled it out. I don't know why it cracked. I put my pot full of rocks <laughs> that I collect on there. I was yeah. boiling them to make sure they were clean. Yeah. No, and then, like, <laughs> I put the other one in, and it's it's the right size, but whoever cut the fucking hole into the into the counter, yeah, they did it completely the wrong way. <laughs> they 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 made the counter, they tiled it and everything, made it look all pretty, and then they took I guess the most crooked fucking saw they can find and just <laughs> so it's like like this, and then when you put when I put the new one on there, it it's there's gap here, gap there, gap here, gap here, mm-hmm. and then. After I got tried to get that fixed, the connection you had to get you had to connect it directly into the power. It's no outlet, hmm. and I was like, "Can I put a fucking power outlet on this?" Nope, because it'll burn it out and it'll fucking burn your house down. Uh, this oven runs on um, on a five hundred D batteries. Imagine change them out every day. <laughs> Imagine, yeah, Jesus Christ, <laughs> like the stuff that runs on batteries. But yeah, I've heard of dumber ideas. Yeah, well, my mom broke her other her old stove. Uh, yeah, how? she uh, tamales. What? Yeah, it was too heavy. Because <laughs> she, she has that big ass fucking pot, you know, yeah, the operator She's, baby. Yeah, she had that thing. She she says she put it up there, and she just heard ding, <laughs> <laughs> and it broke the um, it broke the fucking um, the burner. Yeah. But then when the burner broke, it shorted everything out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So the and it was when she lived in like a, a place they replaced the stove for her. Mm-hmm. But I guess they were trying just to get her out of there. And they gave her the smallest stove you could <laughs> think of, dude. And it had these little weight sensors on it. So if you put on too much weight on it, it'll turn off. Uh. You can't cook on it. And my mom was like, How the fuck am I supposed to make menudo now? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, she doesn't make small batches. She makes fucking pots. Yeah. I mean, I feel like whenever you have to break out that big pot, you might as well just get like a propane tank and one of those like heating well, things. No, they did. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like, it's just annoying though. Because, um, I mean, say you're cooking. I but do you love f- food cooked on those fucking yeah, things though. But it, like, if you forget to like, I mean, they're a little older and they forget things. Cool. And you just forget to get another propane tank. So while you're cooking it, the mm-hmm. propane goes out, but you're not watching it. So then you have like half cooked food out there that just goes bad. Because the propane ran out. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like, well, that's just wasted food and, you know, wasted time. She makes a fucking killing, though, when she sells us the in the and during the, the the cold months, though. Yeah. God, dude. She buys, like, I think she spends maybe, like, 100 bucks on, like, supplies. I haven't met anybody that could top them yet. Yeah. You have to get that recipe down, dog. I know. Like, for real. Like, you have to, like... Well, I've tried to, but, like, she's just, like, it's the fucking typical Mexican mom thing. Got us at sun? That much. And I'm like, Mom, my hand is, like, three of yours. Yeah. So if I do the same amount of salt proportionate to it's my way hand. way too salty. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Like, I know when Grandma was telling me, like, how to, like, Grandma was trying to teach me her technique for rice. Yeah. My sister got it down perfectly. She's her rice, woman. Her rice is perfect, yeah. right? But I realized... I know why it's perfect because my uh, my sister has the same hand proportions as my grandma. Mm-hmm. I don't. So my grandma's like, you measure with your finger. I was like, well, I have a big finger, yeah. so it's like, so I'm like, my shit's always coming out mushy. Yeah, I'm making mushy peas over here, like I'm British. Like I'm, it, it fucking sucks. Yeah. And then like how they measure out rice, they know exactly how much rice to have that pan full to the very top flush. Yeah. And I'm like, if I try doing that, it's going to be overflowing. It's not going to cook all the way. It's going to be a fucking mess. Yeah. Like, I remember yeah. my, um, when my mom used to make, like, tortillas de harina. My mom was really good yeah. at making tortillas de harina. And she never measured anything. She just, like, put it in. A, she was yeah. like, yeah, that's enough. Hit it with the water. Hit it with the salt. Yeah. And then she's in there, like, mixing it all up, and she gets the consistency so Did she perfect. do the same thing my mom did? She'll, she'll be mixing it. She, after she puts everything in, she'll mix it. Yeah. Look at it. Needs more salt. It's like, how the fuck do you know? (laughs) You have taste buds in your palms. (laughs) (laughs) They can, they can, they can, uh, they can, they, they, uh, con, they, they talk to the food, uh, telepathically. Yeah. Say, hey, I need more 
more salt. Okay. No, it's not that. It's que chingados te farta. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. uh, God. There's some stuff that like. Uh, I think we have a fandom of our of our moms. Huh? We're we're fans of our moms. Yeah. Yeah. I know I'll never be able to match their cooking abilities, yeah. but I want to at least like learn some. Yeah. I. You know what I learned how to make? What? It's not the same way, but it tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. My mom used to make. Uh, you get Mexican zucchini, corn, so, uh, a little bit of tomato, and uh, I don't put onions in it because Hannah doesn't like onions. And then you put like. A, whoa, 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 whoa. She doesn't like onions. She doesn't like them like. She doesn't like white onion, or I don't know, but it's weird. She doesn't like really cooked onions or raw full onions like on a burger, but she puts like chopped onions on her tacos. So it's like, yeah, I'm like, what? Uh, <laughs> Anyways, so I made like, you know, <laughs> you, you cook the chicken and you put the zucchini in there, the Mexican zucchini with the corn and everything. Yeah. And you let that like boil up a little bit and you, and then you get a little bit of rice, like white rice and you put that in a bowl on a bowl with the zucchini on it and everything. Mm -hmm. God, so fucking good. Oh, and then tomatadas. I made them too. Hell yeah! Yeah, God, I fucking. I'm gonna get some. Is this mm. just a? Is this just a our family thing? Because I feel like I've never seen any other no, place like. It's a thing. Where does it originate from? I wonder. Mexico. <laughs> yeah, no, but like, it, no, I mean, like, what, I know that, but I'm no, saying, like, what region? I don't know. Maybe Cause just, maybe that Tamaulipas region. Because there's a, there's a, probably because yeah. I'm thinking about it is like because like. You know, my my wife constantly like hounds me on this whole like, well, a lot of y'all's family's tradition is because it's on the border, and I'm like, I don't know, that's necessarily true. I just feel like every area just has like their own cooking style. Uh, yeah, because you know her her family, most of them are like from Jalisco, and yeah. their their cooking methods are completely different. Yeah, like, and they also don't tip. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't tip. Actually, I didn't even check to see if she chipped uh, at the Chinese place. Oh, like, they fucking hate you now. I didn't check. I didn't check because, mm. like, cause she, I go made ask her, her. Go ask her. It's because I made her pay. <laughs> go ask her. So she's. I know she's gonna fucking lie to me. She'd be like, "No, nah, I, I tipped. I tipped good." I Call like, them up. Call them up. It's like, hey, I was there. I was that guy. They ate all the rice. Charge the card again. <laughs> Charge it double. But no. um there's another place. Uh, I never heard of them, but apparently it's a thing. Uh, it's like enchiladas, but with beans. In frijole, in frijole das or some shit like that. What the fuck? In, fro, in frijole, whatever the fuck it's called. In frijole. Yeah. Yeah. Bean tortillas, pretty much. But it's like you you mush up the beans like pinto beans. Mm. You get them super creamy. <laughs> and then you I, made, I made uh oh burritos. <laughs> 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 and no, and it's pretty much the same thing as an enchilada or uh, in tomatada. <laughs> you you cook the tortilla a little bit, and then you dip it into the beans. Uh, the chocolate's on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one of our aunts. Um, God damn it! I want to think about like shit that you do that now. Do it differently. Yeah, but no, it's um <laughs> one of our aunts. Um, maybe she just made it for the kids because that's what they ate. Uh -huh. like they had like the unrefined palates because they're children. Yeah. Theo, uh, Theo N's wife. Yeah. What about, yeah. What about her? She made, I remember when I went over there one day and she made, it was, think of like an tomata. Yeah. It was a tomato. That's where I tried it. It was, it was, that's, she did the bean one. Mm -hmm. She did that. But then she put hot dogs like like fried hot dogs mm -hmm. and she cut them like long ways so like long strips of fried hot dogs yeah yeah which taste better um for some reason they taste better <laughs> than like just like chunked hot dogs that are like fried up yeah because it's 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 frying more of the bologna yeah and it's then, making uh, it more crispy she would she would put that in there and then half a slice of uh american cheese like like fucking craft cheese i think i know what you're talking about yeah, and I've... she rolled those bitches up dude they fucking hit hard, dude. Damn. I ate so many of them. I was like pushing her kids out of the way. <laughs> you, fucking, you need to blame her for your diabetes. I know. Seriously. <laughs> They're fucking good. Uh, there's some food stuff that yeah. doesn't like. This fandom episode turned into food talking. Again. Yeah, again. <laughs> I know. We're just fucking fat. Yeah. I just had some Chinese. I have a lot of leftover fried rice. Oh, you know. 
fry that shit up in the morning. One more thing. You know what else was good that my mom would make? What? So she would make a, a torta, like a like an omelet with cheese. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, you know, you just cook the che- uh, the egg. You, you fucking... Oh, did you fry hot, like hot dog and bologna and put it in there? Yeah, the hot dogs and the cheese. Mm-hmm. And then she put fucking uh, refried beans in it. Yeah, yeah. My mom used to do that, too. Yeah, bro, that shit was fucking... I'm, a little I, Texas Pete on that bitch. Yeah. Woo! I think a lot of your... I think a lot of, like... The stuff that my mom and your mom made, they probably like learned yeah. together or did them together. Like probably because I mean I'm I'm just like your your dad was like the first to get married or one of the first to get married, right? I want I want to say yes because like my mom yeah because your mom didn't get married until later yeah I because I was I popped out in ninety three yeah and my mom got married in ninety two yeah so my dad I think yeah my dad was the first one then. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause I don't know who the oldest cousin is. Who's the oldest in that of our, of our, our first uncle? I think he's got the oldest child. The 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 girls, weren't they the oldest cousins? Oh, in Florida. Yeah, yeah, they were the oldest cousins. So they were no, the fir- my brother. Your brother's older than both of them. Yeah. Huh. No, no, never mind. Uh, my cousin in Flor in uh, in Texas. When my mom's uh, uh, oh. on my mom's side. Oh, okay. Yeah. On our side, it, it's 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 well, my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, that's weird. Yeah, because technically we're, the, we're some of the oldest ones. Mm, yes. Yeah. No, we're like in the middle. I think. No, because it's. Oh, it's I mean, of the first kids in the '90s, I was the baby then. And then the early 2000s, the baby would have been um, Tia V's youngest. Yeah. That's the baby. Is the, the cousins. And then after that, because he would, he would be technically the youngest cousin because now all the, all the babies now are all, you know, the, the cousin's kids. Yeah. You know, like, you know, your sister has kids. Your mm-hmm. brother has kids. Nobody in my family has kids yet. I'll probably be the first for that. Whenever we decide to have children. Yeah. Because apparently that's what my sister said. She was like, I'm not having a kid until you do. I'm like, <laughs> get waiting. Yeah. It's going to be life. a minute. I'm not trying to like start uh, this family just yet. Yeah. Like, like, let me get a house first. Damn. Yeah. But anyways. That's, that's the part that's, that's hard with that. Like last thing for me, it would be like, <laughs> um, you know, we talked about like me and my wife, we talked about kids and stuff like that. And it's one of those mm-hmm. things where it's like, eh, we got stuff we need to do. Uh, we just bought we bought the house like like it's going on a year and a half now a little over a year and a half and we still got a shit ton of stuff to do that house yeah like, well, it costs it costs it costs time and money yeah and that's something like that it's these are ongoing like my my wife she's like sometimes she was like we have so much to do for the house I'm like yeah but like I mean it's not like we're renting it and we have to move out in like in a year or two yeah like we're here to stay for a long time do you get the feeling that your wife just thinks that this house is like a like a stop for, no. for the meantime, like she wants something different. Well, that's the thing that we talked about too. Cause for like, I told her like in like a lot of like Hispanic households and stuff, mm-hmm. when someone buys a house, that's usually the house that they're going to fucking die in. Yeah. Like it's like, Oh, we made it. We bought a house. We have land. Yeah. I picked my plot in the backyard. already, <laughs> And it's like, that's a thing You're like, and, right here. And Hannah, uh, my wife, I've already said her. I don't know why I don't say her name. I well, yeah. for the, it's for context for people who don't know who they are. Yeah, that's why I say my wife a lot on the podcast yeah. because if I just say Denise, people are like, "Who the fuck's Denise?" Yeah, people who don't know us personally. Yeah, but like, uh, she, I had a conversation with her because she was like, "Yeah, maybe you know, like, uh, I was like when we have kids or, or like a kid or something, maybe the house just feels a little too small and we need more room, so we have to like, we'll we'll you know, we'll get this house all fixed up and then we'll sell it." to get something a lot, a little bit bigger to yeah. like, you know, to accommodate us. And in my head from like the way we grew up, I was like, for me or for, I mean, for both of us, I think we had the same amount of siblings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Four. Yeah. It was four of us. Family of four. But it was always living in a small, maybe two bedroom trailer. Yeah. Shared rooms. Then, I mean, it worked. Mm-hmm. I mean, it wasn't the best, but we, and we didn't have all the room in the world, but, it's, it's doable. And then to me, in my head, I'm like, this house is plenty big. What are you talking about? We can have like 16 kids living here. Yeah. And then she's like, 
but it's it it'd be good. Like I mean, we'll be just be cramped. Well, and is her, is her is her family just always been ones to live in like a suburban area, two story kind of house or no? Nope. Or, nope. Or? They've struggled pretty much like kind of like we did for a while because um, her parents for the longest time were missionaries. Oh. You don't get money doing that. It's my least um, favorite position. Yeah, and then uh, they finally started getting some some more traction on them when her dad. He was doing it for a while, but then he really got in it. Uh, he he drove trucks. He was an eighteen wheeler. Like he yeah. drove trucks around. He delivered shit. Um, that's what he was doing up until recently, and he moved up. Like he became like a safety officer for it. He would be like, you know, he made good money, and that's when they started actually getting like you know, better housing and everything. Yeah. Um, but. For her, she has, I mean, she comes from a family with four siblings, or with her and three other siblings, but they've always been, I mean, it's it's more in a white culture, in an American culture. It's like, oh, we have to upgrade. Mm. We have to, you know, we have to find something a little bit bigger. We have to find something with more room. We have to, we have to keep getting to the next step. Yeah. Get something better. And it's not bad. I'm not saying like, oh, this is a terrible thing to do, but it's just like one of those things that I still struggle to understand. Cause like to us it's like, oh, uh, oh, we need more room. Suck out the 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 tools. We're gonna we're gonna add a fucking uh, another wing to the house. We're gonna put two bedrooms. We'll make yeah. another bathroom. Yeah, I've been saying this for a yeah. year. I was just like, I would be fine with a double wide trailer. Like yeah. that's like that's just more than enough room for me. Honestly, the dream is to buy three trailers and make a triple long trailer. <laughs> so it's just like you live in a giant hallway. <laughs> Or like a lot of people, I I've have three a, living rooms. <laughs> like I've I've known a couple uh, of friends and their families and stuff, and they're like, uh, oh yeah. So for the longest time, like my parents saved up and they bought a piece of land, like mm-hmm. an acre or two, whatever, and they put a trailer on there. They got all the plumbing and everything done, and they yeah. lived in the trailer. But while they lived in the trailer, the dad, along with like family members or whatever, they're building a house. Huh. And it yeah, it takes fucking like a couple of years to do it. Because they buy pieces, they do it bit by bit, and they get it. But then after a while, they build the house that they want, and they still have that trailer there, and they just rent it out to like a family member to make more money. Mm-hmm. And it's like, that's great. Or buy six trailers, and you have a big button that you hit, and it turns into Voltron. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time yeah. to fucking wrap this shit up. <laughs> We've already gone past fucking. Oh yeah, we have. Jesus, yeah. talking for a good minute. Well, you can cut out the part where you had to go shut up your dog. That is true. Yeah, I didn't have anything to say. I was just like, how's everyone doing? (laughs) Uh, We don't abuse animals. (laughs) He beat that dog. No, I didn't. (laughs) Oh, my God. Anyways, thanks again for listening to another episode of The Night Fun, guys. Um, Make sure to find us on all the social medias at The Night Fun Podcast on Instagram, TikTok, and we're also on YouTube now. So we're going to try to be um, uploading regularly on there, the full episodes uncut hopefully this one might be edited down a little bit because of the interruption of yeah it. but anyways other than that thank you again for listening to another episode you can find us at our personals i'm on instagram at handful of pedro and i'm also in the woods and as always new episodes every friday thank you so much for listening thank you for anybody that showed us support in the past few months it means a lot and uh just know we're trying our best and we're gonna continue to you know put out as much more yeah. new content as possible i don't know when we're going to start doing the interviews but you know keep on the lookout for that yeah and uh you'll just you have know. to listen and if anybody listening would be interested on being on the show contact us on instagram yeah we got nothing else to do yeah send us a uh, send <laughs> us a dm and then we'll get back to you if uh, we think you'd be a great candidate to be on here and be interviewed you know i'd love the opportunity to do so yeah so you know hit us up yeah But uh, thanks again for listening, and uh, we'll see you all next week. Bye. Uh, Diabetes. In the world, all y'all Republican ass niggas, if y'all want really? money, just say y'all fucking want money. <laughs> End the episode. <laughs> money revolve around money. Y'all niggas is killing us.